There was a time when investment funds would post their annual returns to try and lure you, but going by the annual return is never a good idea. However, their stock market returns the past two years have been so poor that it's significantly reduced or eliminated any gains over the past 10 years. So this is what they're left with. They're going to talk about keeping an eye on costs. Just really confusing the issue because you're not making any money in the fund to begin with. Reducing your tax liability. Definitely of extreme importance with regard to your investment returns. But again, just confusing the issue here because you still didn't make any money. And this is probably going to be a big marketing blunder down the road when none of these dated retirement funds actually pay off. But let's just look at the advertising here. This date right here. So it's appearing late in 2009 when the ad comes out. And then you look down here. Act by April 15th, 2009. You really got to fire your ad guys and let me handle this for you. That does not inspire me to invest with confidence. And you're probably saying, oh, that's just a one-time mistake. They fixed that in 2010. No, they didn't. They did update here. So now we're at 12.31.09. But you still have to act by April 15th, 2009. Still not inspiring me to invest with confidence. Help to retire from a company that had to get saved from going out of business. So, no, I don't think I'm going to be seeking your financial counsel. I like this one. The A pluses are nice. And they didn't have to ask for any government bailout money. You definitely should be talking more about that. Simple, but nice. Emotional, right here. Holding hands, you really can't get much better than this. I like the approach. We're not talking about investment returns here, but just talking about the design. Overall, good job. Another one that... I like the message here is is great. You can't build a first-rate portfolio with second-hand information. But if you think about superior investing, everywhere you go you're sold second-hand information. So you don't have a chance to outperform. Nice approach though. And when you finally look at the numbers, here we go over the past 10 years. And it doesn't matter what sector you are investing in. Right here is 10 years. So if you take a look at this column, next to it is the annual expense ratio. But let's just focus on 10 years because one year hasn't been good so you didn't make any money and 10 year I mean we're really we're really talking about a fraction of a percent in some of these sectors now if we were to deduct taxes if it was in a taxable account inflation and investment costs you really didn't make anything over the past 10 years. That's why we don't talk about this. They don't want to talk about it because you didn't make any money.
This one I like. But it's not an investment ad. But it's funny though. Opportunity has very little to do with eagles and sunshine. Yeah, that's true. This is the best one. It's important to have more information before you say no. It's even more important to have that information before you say yes. Apropos to investing. And it's not even an investment ad. It's from the military.